Hey guys, it's Vicky. Self-driving taxis are now running on the streets in the central Chinese city of Changsha. It's been a while since I heard about the autonomous driving, but I haven't tried it. So today, I'm gonna bring my camera with me to record my first ride on a smart vehicle. All right, let's go. I'm now arriving at the Meishihu International Culture and Art Center. This building with dramatic lines was designed by Zaha Hadid, who was also the architect of Beijing Daxi International Airport. Right in front of the art museum is an open testing road for self-driving taxis, and I will be starting my journey just from here. I've got so many questions about the robot taxi, so I invited a professional to join me today. She will arrive within just a few minutes. Hi, Chloe. I'm so glad to finally meet you. Hi, Vicky. Let's go take a test ride. Okay. All right, here comes our taxi. This is our L4 self-driving mass production car, which is customized by Baidu and FAW Hongqi. It senses surroundings via sensors like camera and radar. Output control instructions based on our digital analytics of the detected real-time information by onboard computer and then replacement driving via electronically controlled steering wheel, throttle and brake. As the eyes of the car, it is detected jointly by the onboard LiDAR, nine cameras with different focal distance and two millimeter wave radars and then displayed after the merging of the results. Okay, let's find out more in the car. As required by the law, each car has staffed with a safety officer, but their hands will only near by the steering wheel and will not control the steering wheel, brake, water throttle. Well, we have to scan the code first. We are now in autonomous driving now. You can see there is a, a traffic light countdown on the screen. This is our intelligent roadside system has access to traffic lights and then send data to the autonomous car via our V2X communication. What is the average speed of self-driving taxis? Well, this car will only drive strictly under the speed limit and it usually around 50 km per hour. There is a 175 km open urban road program here in Changsha with intelligent roadside units. They have been installed at dozens of intersections, which all support vehicle road collaboration. Are there many passengers every day? Yes, of course. We have around 70 to 80 passengers from Monday to Sunday. Could you introduce a little bit about this tablet? This tablet, you can like control the perspective of the map and also change the color you like and control the temperature of the air conditioner now it's 26 degrees and also you can play the music you want and it also shows the information like the destination the total length of, of the trip and how many minutes how many minutes left here and it also shows the speed limit here and you can see now we're on auto mode. The taxi I'm taking is operated by Hunan Apollo Intelligent Transportation. At present, there are 30 Apollo autonomous taxis and more than 130 taxi stations in Changsha. We are back to where we started. So thank you for introducing so much today. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. 作为普通的市民来说，哈，已经感受到了、体验到了一种高的、很很科技感十足的这个自动驾驶车。那么我们也希望的话，就是未来的话，还可以这种自动驾驶车辆会更多一些。希望这个车辆上能够不再配置这个安全员，能够实现真正的无人驾驶。We are so lucky to experience vehicles of the future. Hopefully, this intelligent service can benefit everyone in the society. That's all for today's vlog. Until next time.